it's September 2nd, 2021. Last night there were there were um, there were alerts on the telephones. Um, the cell phones towers were going off saying flash flood warning, like huge storms. First it was only till 11 o'clock p.m. Then it was midnight. Then it was 3 a.m. I mean, I looked out the window this morning. Luckily, we're far enough. And we're on the bay side, so there's not so much damage. But last night, it was raining so, um, v like, viciously in such a short period of time. Because they they speak of flash flooding, but, I mean, I've never actually experienced, like, high waters. Um, I've been fortunate enough to be away from scary weather systems. Um, but now, this morning, I'm watching... And it brings up for me um, where they are talking in New Jersey specifically. Love Live in Times Square. This is GMA. Good morning, America. We are glad you are with us on this busy Thursday morning. See, they always speak of one America, although there's three to four. We want to show you this live shot from our Philly station, WPVI tornado this is damage. Philadelphia. In Hills, New Jersey. That's from overnight. Of course, oh, the remnants of Ida she said Philly. At least six That's New Jersey. Our weather team is all across the region. Let's go right to Ginger at Passaic, New Jersey. Good morning, Ginger. Good morning to you, George. At least two people here in Passaic thought to have been swept away in the river, still missing this morning. At least one person this in the town is, is dead. You can see from the water line on this west car that of the where water I am. is at least waist deep, and people that I've been talking to said that was higher here than in Sandy. So we saw record breaking rains from Newark to over. Sandy is a um, weather system that came through and devastated Long Island. Um, and a lot of uh, areas of Queens as well. Um, I, it also damaged um, New Jersey, I heard. Over in New York, uh, all the way up in Connecticut, and even New Hampshire, I'm seeing road collapses this morning. We are living in this new climate reality and trying to deal with the extremes. A flash flooding siege in the Northeast. States of emergency in New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Now, here's the thing. My question is, um, is this how our weather pattern is supposed to be? But because of real estate development and the obnoxious new wealth, they've thrown our health, safety, and welfare out the window so they could develop housing in areas where it doesn't belong. I mean, because the topography, I don't think, has changed. I mean, perhaps slightly they, it, as it stretches it starts to cause dips and things but that's known on like a when you go for like building scales and stuff they have like a whole like building permit process where you know this is not a good investment to build real estate but i know the humans like would sometimes they get like so gung ho on like just wanting to plow through and own something they throw all caution to the wind and become really fucking stupid. Pennsylvania. Multiple deaths reported as the remnants of Ida merged with the front to produce chaos. George, speaking with New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy this morning. We're pulling all the levers we can, but it's going to be a long road to get back at our feet. For the first time in recorded history, the National Weather Service issuing a flash flood emergency for all five boroughs of New York City. More than seven inches of rain in just a few hours. Inside the subway system. The Western Hemisphere's busiest subway system oh shut down. Waterfalls pouring down station stairs, trains... They actually, in Universal Studios or or Disney or something, I, I once got free tickets... Um, I went down there, they want you to buy a timeshare, which I don't have, have money to buy, but you go for this thing and then they give you a free ticket for the day to go to one of these water park things, and you, they have like a simulation of water rushing in to a subway station and what would happen if like an earthquake hit like the subway or whatever, and like it's a simulation that you sit through. And it's it's absolutely mind boggling, especially when you could tie it together with like it did now is this studio work or like did this actually happen? It's pulling into 
identified platforms submerged. People wading through waist-high water. Above ground, stranded cars and water rescues everywhere. FDNY members rescuing someone who has been trapped in that jeep for now well over an hour. Our New York station, WABC, right there as a man was finally brought to safety. And in Queens, a partial building collapse. At least two people killed. And at Newark Airport in New Jersey, the wettest day ever recorded. Flooding taking over baggage claim terminals. Hundreds of flights canceled. The safe New Jersey mayor, Hector Laura, pleading during the storm for people to stay inside. We have too many areas where the flooding has gotten so bad. The cars are stuck and we have bodies underwater. We are now retrieving bodies. That's amazing with the train the pushing the water out of the way. Torturing southern New Jersey and Pennsylvania yes. earlier in the evening with at least six tornadoes. Look at that tornado! Reporter Catherine Scott from our Philadelphia station in Mullica Hill, New Jersey, where one of those reported twisters ripped through. On the side, completely torn off. You can see inside someone's room, into their closets. Nearly 25 homes in Mullica Hill, a total loss. Others shredded. In Horsham, Pennsylvania, the storm uprooting trees, tipping semis, and in Allegheny County, 41 people, mostly students, in this bus, rescued. While the rain is gone, rivers are still on the rise, and this is what makes it urgent. You can see the Schuylkill River here from that video approaching its record flood stage. So we now here's my whole thing. There's one thing for the residents because now they're going to be really obnoxious. They built homes where they shouldn't have built homes, and now they're going to expect some magical big brother to come in and like pay for their loss, right? Um, I don't get how you humans set up your sociopathic societies, but whatever. And then you've got the commercial use tenants, where, again, should have never have built this close to the river. I mean, watch this. So we could still see flooding. We could still see some danger. There's the river. Uh, Why is there a building? Flood flood I mean, they built it up, in places but... The water is finally starting to stop falling from the sky. Of course, we will continue to see that. Remember, we had more than eight inches of rainfall in just a couple of hours for a large swath, some places more than a foot. When you get three to five inch per hour rainfall rates, you will get flash flood emergencies, which means catastrophic damage, and that's exactly what we're waking up to this morning. Guys, Ginger, I know you and the team will stay on it all day. Thank you so much. We're going to turn now to our other major story from overnight, a divided Supreme Court voting not to block the new Texas abortion law. That's the most restrictive law in the nation and effect effectively bans that procedure in that state. Uh, Rachel Scott is there in Austin with the very latest. Good morning again, Rachel. It says Supreme Court Cecilia, upholds Texas abortion ban. Law in the nation. And the court's conservative majority has allowed it to stand. The Supreme Court breaking its silence overnight and they were bitterly divided over this. This was a five to four ruling. Chief Justice John Roberts, a conservative on the bench, joined the liberal justices in dissenting the move, calling the Texas law not only unusual but unprecedented. Abortion providers unprecedented. did challenge this, but yeah, in it is. opinion, the conservative majority said they did not address complex procedural questions. So now That's the old, key. Complex procedural. It's law. Latex, latex, L-A-T-E-X, latex if you don't know how to read or pronounce things, but in special plays, it's latex. It is a special area function. It should have never been brought to the public and mixed with this. What happens is in quiet chamber, you need when you have multilingual, they don't understand. So you have you give a one-time private example of what it is that you are layering as a theory in actuality. It's like it's as if um, for a totally different purpose. And then for some reason they bring it out to the public and let them. Now I went to bio. Uh, medical bio uh, bio medical ethics and I discussed in that class with that professor at the regular community college nothing fancy looks like high school same st setup as uh, my Italian professor um, it wasn't like a tiered stadium university or college by any stretch of the imagination I even said to Miguel yesterday I said <clears throat> here the education system is so poor. I was like, 
um, you know, like in Russia, like the science classes, they're called law classes, I come to find out. I was like, it's the natural laws and the science laws and the things. I was like, here, they don't even speak the same English tune. So anyway, so, um, so I took biomedical ethics about Roe and Wade and about abortion, but I stayed at the human level. I'm like, you know, one woman, her decision, that kind of thing. Because, I mean, like, I'm not going to get into, like, la text, like, and I wasn't even in the frame of mind back then when I was in the class. I just stayed at human level. He taught it as human. I regurgitated and, like, spoke as human in that small forum. Um, but, um, let me think about this. So the flash flooding, so that's, uh, incredible. oh, and then I saw this, this man on Richard French Live, something called Hartman, Thome, uh, T-H-O-M. Um, he was mentioning something about Jared Kushner buying 666 Fifth Avenue, and something about Qatar and Saudi Arabia, and he needed a billion dollars. He's got some newspaper, New York Observer, whatever, but like he owes them a billion dollars, and that's what the vaccines are for. Then I heard something on the media news about um, the the vaccines need to be kept at 80 below in dry ice. And then one has the different, that's Pfizer, and then a different one has to be kept at freezing. Um, these are all signs of, these are all genetically modified and engineered civil obedience, disobedience. And it sounds to me like that's how he's paying for some building that nobody gives a fucking shit about if he can get into the New York Sports Club, honestly. Um, I mean, I really don't care if he gets in, he dies, he lives, it's, I don't understand why they keep getting away at really obnoxious level and keep growing this disgusting, deceitful shit club. I mean, I would knock out other colors before I would, like, really push in some publicly damaging section of expansion in dumb fucking and useless at rich, arrogant level. Um, let's think about this. So, that's that. It's September 2nd, 2021. It's Nicole Catarizzo, star 1978, star 8378.